I said I'm cooler than Freddie Jackson sipping a milkshake in a snowstorm is Vash Lombardi. What's happening, man? We back with uh, Desmond King, Iowa, cornerback, 5'11". Don't have his weight. Y'all like to correct me on other people's weight. Correct me now. Go in the comment section and drop uh, drop Desmond's uh, senior bowl weight. Or if you're watching this during the combine time, drop his combine weight and um, let your uh, fellow film watchers know. Uh you know, just just some some about Desmond King. First of all, let me just say this: the Big Ten, right there, Big Ten uh, broadcast film is horrible uh, for cornerbacks or whatever. So I had to I had to get a gang of film together just to properly, you know, have enough information to you know to show y'all to paint the picture to assess dude. You know, but uh, I think we got it done though. We. Um, Pretty much, pretty much figured it out, and I have a good idea of the type of player that Desmond King is. Um, decent man, guy, hell of a zone dude, though. You'll uh, you'll you'll uh, see him a lot in this film. His back is to the sideline, and he's eyeballing the quarterback. He's a high IQ dude. You know, he a uh, uh, great route recognition. Uh, hell of hell of polished polished receiver right he just knows what he sees when he sees it he just he just understands it he feels it he's been doing this for four years you know so um that high iq high instinct type of guy uh you know if you are looking looking for one of those type of guys on your uh, team desmond king may be one of you know one of the cats that you are looking for punt and kick returner don't know why but they let him do it though hey whatever uh, very physical dude, somewhat uh, somewhat of an ass whoop type. We're going to get into a lot of that. He gets real physical, sometimes grabby. I think a lot of that is BS, but he, uh, he, does, uh, he does play very physical. He'll put his hands on you, uh, especially at the back end of a route when he's carrying you. I'll show that a little bit later, too. Um, if you want to knock him on anything, his size, you know, some 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 people want to want to want to knock him for his size. I think five eleven, you know, height wise is 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 okay. Even though he's in a class full of uh, six foot guys that can that can cover and run, uh, he is five eleven. His makeup speed is not that great. His speed in general isn't that great, but his IQ gives him the jump that you don't necessarily get a step on him because he's where you are before you get there. Okay. Let's get into it. Um, just one more note on Desmond King was that uh, he was phenomenal uh, last year in 2015. Outstanding he was in 2015. But, um, you know, he I guess he fell off a little bit in 2016. The the uh, numbers weren't there necessarily. So I guess you can you know kind of call that a fall off. But whatever, if you can draft him and bring out that dude that he once was, you know, hey, you know, you may you may have your little something special diamond in the rough type of deal. First play, identification, IQ. Let me figure this out real fast. OK, it's a bubble, right? First of all, I'm already just look. Soon as the quarterback looks that way, I'm tiptoeing. Look at Desmond right now. Just just look at Desmond. And then kind of look at the quarterback if you can with your peripherals here. Tiptoeing. I'm getting over there. Figuring this out. Mm, bubble. Go get him. He didn't make the tackle. But the IQ is there. You see? You see the recognition. He just knows what he's doing. He's probably seen this bubble screen for four years now. Maybe five. He just knows it. Right? Inching. I feel it. He feels what's going on in front of him. Right? And... I've said this a bunch to a lot of people. If it's in front of him, I think Desmond King is the best. If it's in front of him, he got it guy this year. <laughs> I don't even know if I said that correctly, but if he's the best, if it's in front of him, he got him. Um, Desmond is uh he's proactive versus the run and tackling and all that type of situation. Where is he at right here? You see him kind of kind of get blocked up a little bit, but he's at least fighting to get off the block to go get the tackle here, right? In this class, that's all you can ask for, right? We just want to see a little bit of effort. We just want to see a little bit of a just a try, some attempt to uh, go tackle and get to the football, right? That's gonna make him a whole bunch of paper in this um, in this uh, class here. He's not the best tackler though. Tech, technique wise, he's not the best. We're gonna see right here. Desmond's right here. Uh, technique wise, he's not the best in the world because he's gonna come down and try to get this guy and and you know <laughs> and just fall. You know what I'm saying? Just you know. But uh, but we did see willingness though. We did see the pursuit. He was proactive in getting there. Fall. 
But um, you know, <laughs> like I said, you know, I'm uh, that that's just one of one of one of the notes I saw. I'm not necessarily ready to say um, Desmond is a bad tackler, but you know, he damn it, he missed that one. All right, let me move this up a little bit. So we can get a good idea of what's going on down bottom here. Uh, watch Desmond identify this route right here. First of all, look at his eyes. I want y'all to look at his eyes. I'm not even going to say nothing. Look at his eyes. Mm. Mm. Okay? That's how you know it's route identification, right? You know, it's easy to... Uh, now I wouldn't even say it's easy because everybody can't do it. But Desmond, you know, sometimes he reads the quarterback's eyes and gets in the general direction of where he's going. He breaks and he gets there. This time he's he's flat out reading the receiver, okay? Flat out. He's in man coverage anyway. Uh, and you see, uh, just just another technique I taught y'all uh, uh, some, some three videos ago. I don't know if I taught you. I taught some people, but some of y'all knew this already. You see, Desmond is opening his hips to the sideline, turning his back to the inside. Why? Because it's man coverage. You want to use the sideline as your um, as your extra defender. See, if he was turning his back to the sideline, he wants to funnel it in to the help over here, right? But you, but but as you see, Des uh, Desmond is turning his back to the um, to the inside. He's facing the sideline here because he wants to uh, to have the sideline as an extra defender. So he's playing what we call the inside technique. Y'all got it. I ain't had to tell y'all that, but, you know, everybody hadn't been watching my video since last year, so let's get right into it. Um, yes, okay. First of all, opens up to the outside, right? Then he sees right as the receiver breaks. Let me plant my foot, change my direction, and go play on the ball. Whether it's coming or not, I still want to break on that football and go find it. Desmond look, gets his head around. Look at this. Look at this right here. This is special right here. You can you can you can get a lot of pro stuff from just this look right here, okay? So, first of all, sinking his hips back to the inside. Man coverage. I want to push you as far outside as I can, right? Just in case the throw is bad, okay? I see you breaking. I plant my foot. Find the quarterback in the football. That's what I do. Granted, Desmond Hands ain't the best in the world because uh I kind of hit that move right there, but Sorry, Dez. Hey, it had to be you, bro. But you see the route uh, route identification. You see the 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 instincts, the awareness, what's going on in front of him. You see the polish, right? Then the break. Go get him. I just need you to catch that next time. All right, Dez. Anyway, uh, da, 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 da. we're gonna do this one time, and I don't want to hear about this ever again. Okay. <laughs> Punt return. He can do it. All right. Okay. Cool. He 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 has a little a little bit of scoot in him too. Okay. Let me turn my phone down if y'all don't mind. Uh, yes, he can punt return. You even see a little bit of scoot. I'll even run it back for you. Okay. Where's blocks? There you go. Boobity boo. Kick return. Uh, you also see this right here. The punt return. I'm showing this because I don't want to hear about this ever again. Okay, I'm talking about the cornerbacks. Okay, you can you can you can make your extra money as a return man if you want to. I'm just letting y'all know he can do it. I'm breaking him down as a cornerback defensive back though. Okay, a little bit of big playability as a cornerback, but I don't think his speed is going to be able to translate to the next level though. But I'm gonna leave y'all alone. Uh, the 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 six thirteen is where I'm at. Okay, let me take y'all to. Okay, right here. I jumped around right here. Let's go to 710. All right. <clears throat> take a look at take a look at the uh wire C right here. First of all, let me find Desmond. Desmond can also line up in the slot. I think I told y'all this earlier. I want y'all to look at the wire receiver and I want y'all to look at how the receiver tries to set up Desmond right here. Okay. You see the 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 small little fake to the inside here? That small little shuffle my hands, shuffle my feet, bite the inside, and I want you to go inside to give me a tad bit of space to where I can work outside, okay? Watch the receiver. Look at him. Faking inside. Hands, feet, faking inside, right? And y'all see Dez just kind of, um, Brian, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not taking that bait. I'm not buying what you're selling. I'm not falling for it. Why? Because maybe Desmond is so polished that he understands, well, when you go against receivers like this, sometimes the first move is to set you up. 
Desmond said, I've been set up before all my life. I've had to fight. I refuse to be set up my junior and senior year. So when the receiver gets to shuffling his hands and his feet and he fakes inside and Desmond say, I'm going to stand right here and wait till you make your second move. Then I'm going to fly with you and cover you up and you can't go nowhere. You see, that's polish right there, people. That's polish. That's why we want players to, to, to be around for their, for their senior year. We want you to get four years of this hot fire in your system, right? We want you to have juice like this, right? Good job, Desmond. Let's move along. Um, hey, how about this, though? How about this, though? Where we at? Where we at? Okay, how about this, though? Right? Got your boy Desmond right here. I want to say this is a run play, okay? Going shopping to the grocery store. Get your corn ass off of me, right? Just want to let y'all know that Desmond, if he gets engaged in the run game, I haven't showed up up to this point because the camera angles are so brutal. want to let y'all know Desmond does have the ability that if he's going to get blocked, he can disengage uh, the actual block right here. Get your Nebraska ass off me. What? Get your, get your hands off. Get your, see what I'm saying? He has the ability to actually man up a little bit, right? To man up and be a little physical. Like I said, Desmond's an asshole, bro. He's a, he's a physical guy. I'm going to show y'all a little bit more of that in the film as it, as it goes on a little bit, but he's physical. Especially last year, he's been playing with a lot more space this year. He likes to give a, give guys a little bit more uh, more uh, space this year, but uh, man, oh man, he's a he's a physical dude. Let me see. Uh, I actually missed the play. Let me run back here. Missed the play in my notes. Hit y'all with the run around. Let's go. There's right down here. Let's see what we got. Good physical coverage, right? Good physical coverage. I think the call for pi is a little bit BS though. In my opinion, but what you do get, I don't too much like his like his feet right here. I don't like his feet, but he did cover enough ground he needed to cover. And if you one of those so savvy type of type of vet cornerbacks, man, you you know you you know what works. Sometimes a little, just a little skip will get you the ground cover that you need. I don't like his feet though, but he did end up physical and a little bit grabby on the back end of this play though. Just wanted to make y'all aware of that. Little grabby. I think the call was a little pity, pity, pat, plickety, plat, plickety, plat, but you know, I, you know, I think it's BS, man. I just think that was just Dez putting hands on the target. National Football League, they might let that slide, bro, but it's whatever. Let me see where we at. Uh, all right, cool. Where we at? Let me go to the 1007. I want y'all to take a look at the 1007 here. There's on the outside. It seemed like I got to use these replay angles when you're using Big Ten footage because every other time, Dez ain't in the damn camera view. So we got to we gotta go to the alternate uh, view right here. But I like this view right here. What we see, first of all, first of all, we go back. So how we know it's man coverage, first of all. I mean, pardon me. How we know it's, um, how we know it's uh, zone coverage? Back to the sideline. I'm trying to get you in to the middle of the field where the help's at, right? My back is to the sideline. That's what I want. I want to push you towards the middle of the field, but sometimes we have these uh, we have these issues to where the route goes to the outside, even though my back is turned that way. So Dez, like the sa savvy veteran he is, if I'm going to turn my back to the outside and you go outside anyway, you close space as if you were in man coverage. That's what you see Dez backing up to do right there, you see? You go zone coverage, backing up. Oh, God, he's going back. Let me close that space as much as I can, right, till I feel the contact. That's the contact right here. This is some savvy stuff right here. This is some NFL type stuff right here. I'm going to back up until I feel the, con the, uh, the uh, contact. I got hands on my back. I'm going to keep rolling. The problem is Dez sees the quarterback do something. I don't know what the quarterback did, but he did something to make him feel like the ball was going to go to the inside. Dez broke just a little bit. Before this little break, Dez was doing some NFL type stuff, man. Let me back up till I feel the contact right there. Let me let me restrict him to the sideline, even though I'm in zone coverage. Responsible for the deep third right here. Dez broke a little bit and gave uh, gave wide receiver 13. We're not watching film on him, though. Wide receiver 13, just enough space to make the catch in the back of the end zone, though. But it's... 
I'm just saying though, uh, Desmond started off very, very savvy at first, okay? Uh, if you heard my paper rustling, it means I'm done with the notes on the first half of Desmond King. This Desmond King, this cat here comes from, um, comes from, uh, this is the 2015 version of Desmond King where he was a, a lot more physical and he had like eight, nine interceptions or something like that, much more proactive in, um, in his ass whoop. Okay, so let's uh, have a little sound there. Cool. A little bit more proactive in his ass whoop. So let's get into a little bit more Desmond King, um, the younger version of him a year ago when he was actually considered one of the top corners in the nation because we saw that production. We saw those interceptions, right? First play, I have written down proactive versus run. So let's take a look at it. See, Des is going to back up a little bit, somewhat get blocked. I just said he had, he had some pretty decent sh uh, block shedding. When he does it, okay, when you see it from him, pretty decent block shed and come down, go make the tackle. I'm not mad at you, young Desmond. That's going to be the difference between you and a bunch of guys in this draft process, all right? What else we got here? Uh, da, 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 da. Desmond is going to, okay, where we at? Desmond in the slot right here. Now, I do notice this as well, right? Desmond purposely, he's, he's, he knows his responsibility, right? So it gotta be zone coverage, right? Because he's out of he's out of position like like a mug right now, right? But he's faking his blitz, but then he's gonna drop back and end up right back where he needs to be. You see? He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna fake that little blitz and go, nah, psych, and I'm gonna just cover my ground and find my guy. Next thing you know, I'm putting hands on you. Right there, hands on the receiver, carries him downfield. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Carries him downfield, limits that separation. I think Desmond Desmond got some got some got some decent length to his arms too, because he's gonna come around and make this play. It doesn't look like it here, but on this secondary view, I remember watching here. Des does uh, come around and get hands on that uh, football right there. So I know definitely when the combine gets here, we're gonna actually figure out his arm length. He's five eleven, but if you got some good lengthy limbs on you. If you got some lengthy limbs and you're in the right place and you play physical, you know, the 5'11 may not be too terrible because you play like you 6'1. You dig what I'm saying? Tredavious White's another guy like that, but we ain't watching film with him. Go back and watch that video. Uh, 242. Let's take a look at his tackling here. <clears throat> Let's take a look at him. He's going to come down and make a tackle on this ball carry here. He's not playing. He's not playing. We've we we've seen good example, good good enough examples that um, you know, Desmond could could be a pretty reliable tackle. I won't say he's you know great or nothing like that, but he's proactive. He goes to get it. He pursues. He pursues. Pardon me. And uh, man, he he wraps up and bring guys down, man. Anyway, let's see where we at. Um, I want y'all to take a look at this right here, right? Let's take a look at this. Wait a minute. Let's get uh let's get uh, let's let's get the big view first of all. All right. And you know Dez made the play because they got him celebrating. <laughs> let's take a look at this. First of all, this is so brutal. This this camera angle is so brutal. This is what they give us, right? This is what they give us. And you see Desmond on the back end getting this interception here. See? So that leads us to go, okay, cliffhanger. How did Desmond get this interception? Well, from the information that they give us, he's still not in the film here. But we need all three of these views, though. Pardon me. Um, it looks like the uh, like the ball sailed on the um, quarterback a little bit, but it's still impressive that Desmond was in the right place at the right time. Though you still got to be in this general area to make this play. Reading the, reading the quarterback's eyes, right now. This is where I want. This is where I want us to be here. Okay. This is where I'm gonna make my money as Vach Lombardi here. Cool. Des gonna backpedal, right? Eyes on the quarterback. Okay, he sees the quarterback is looking on his half of the field. That's all this side right here, right? So Desmond got a feeling, hmm, it's probably going to be my side and maybe one of my guys. If I see a receiver flash in front of me, I'm about to go get him. And all this comes down to polish, okay? That is your receiver flashing. This guy right here, that's your receiver flashing. Now, if you Desmond King, what you got to do? Get your head around, find the daggone football. That's what he's doing right there. He finds it, go gets it. Mm. Interception. Mm. Polish. Hey man, go get you a senior. I know these uh I know these young guys coming out and they and they you know full of talent and all that and they declaring early. Go get you a senior. Like Prescott was a senior. Carson Wentz was a senior. Get 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 some of these senior bowl guys, right? 
they always end up being some of the better ones in the class. And, you know, sometimes you can get them at a uh, discounted rate. That's just me talking right now, right? Um, I want y'all to see Desmond really put hands on his receiver and play physical ball with him. <laughs> play, and play ass whoop football, right? Now, he, he, he had a little help uh, with uh, by, uh, with uh, 43 here, but you do see a pretty decent jam. Also, psh, Dez gets his hands up. My mouse went away, pardon me. On the back end of this ass whoop, Dez gets his hands up and bats the football in the air. You see? That's awareness. That's polish, bro. I'm telling you. that's and, and I hope I'm doing a good job of explaining what I mean by polish. of just doing the right things of, you know, I've played this position for four years. Damn it, this is how it's done type of play. I just want y'all to understand where, where I'm coming from when I say these things. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the uh, 601. That's my area code back in Mississippi. Pardon me. We see a little bit of route identification by the man Desmond King. I just want y'all to look, man. He's not gonna bite. He he he's not gonna bite that inside fake, bro. He's in man coverage. Obviously, he's he's turned his back all the way to the uh, to the quarterback here. Also, how how else I know it's man coverage because this receiver has his back turned to the inside. Y'all y'all gonna get it a little bit quicker, man. But anyway, um. Like I said, it's man coverage. He's gonna carry his guy wherever he's gonna go. Decent, decent, uh, decent hips opening up right there. I wish his feet were a little more quicker. Like I said, when you have the IQ and route recognition, you don't have to be super fast to recover, right? That's the difference between him and other guys. Um, Desmond is in the right position because he know where you're going. <laughs> Right, he just know where you're going. This looks like a uh, like a smash combo right here. He's gonna play down. He's gonna play the corner over the top, and Dez just knew the damn corner was coming. Also, what else we see is Dez um, tracking the football, getting up in the air and catching it for the interception. See, just uh, just a couple more things you know that we need to see from Dez. You see, hell of a job, Dez. Like I said, if you can get the kid from from uh, from uh, 2015, whoo, you're in good business. You're in good business if you get the kid from 2015. I fast forward too much. I need 852. Take me back to 852. Here we go. What happens on 852? Okay. Uh, we've seen Desmond do this move before. He's going to give a little bit of space here. He does it in the slot position a bunch. Is He's uh, going to give you a little space to make you think you got more space than you really have. He's just going to close all that off. Look at this. Look at the little, little, little close up space. Nah, I'm about to come see you, bro. He's gonna close all that off with his physical play and carry the receiver all the way downfield, bro. Like just instant reaction time, right? He sees, look at this, look at this. Ball snap, receiver coming. I'm going with you. And I'm carrying you. I'm taking you. I'm taking you out of the play. Quarterback wasn't even looking his way. Don't matter. He wasn't open anyway. Kind of grabby almost. Let's let's just take a look at his hands. Kind of grabby almost, but I would prefer uh, my uh, my uh, corners have some type of hands than no hands at all. That's just how I feel. Another example of him being uh, being somewhat pretty uh, grabby here is uh, I had to use this this uh, back film. Shouts out to the Big Ten camera crew. Uh, we see him get a little grabby right here though, but that's just him being physical. That's him being an asshole. That's him letting you know he's there ass whoop right i do think that's a crappy call i think that's um that's just a good job on desmond playing the football but it is what it is um 1208 as i fast forward to the 1208 mark that's what i want y'all to see man i love this right here though boy if big 10 could just do this the whole time right anyway we're gonna see desmond open up his hips not as fluid and fast as you want it to be but hey man now you notice when the receiver starts to pick his speed up, the quarterback uh, 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 Desmond King picks his up, right? Polish. Okay, you want a jog? I jog with you. I jog with you. But when you turn it up, I'm coming. I'm coming, right? Eyes on the backfield, right? Eyes on the backfield. Okay, turn around. Mm -mm. Eyes on the receiver. He finds his target right there, right there. I'm gonna get where I need to be. Right here, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to find the football. How I know it's time to find the football? Well, I'm looking at my receiver. His eyes are up. Well, I need I need my eyes to be up too. 
I need to find a damn football too. Why? Because my receiver's looking for it. Desmond King is polished, people. It's polished. We're going to look at a couple more plays. We're going to get out of here, man. We're going to get out of here. Zero separation on that play. We're going to look at a couple more plays. We're going to get out of here, man. We're going to look at Dez. Um, Dez, man, Dez. We're going to see him eat up, his, eat up these wide receivers, bro. We're going to see him just out physical people. Ass whoop. This is, just, mm -mm, where you going? Where you going? Boy, I'm polished. Armor all, brother. Mm -mm, where you going? Big things popping. Where you going? Mm -mm, I'm coming with you. Route recognition is what I call it. It just, this, this just, this just, probably what this is, bro. If I'm Desmond King, and I'm a very polished receiver, if I'm Desmond King with Vash Lombardi's brain at this point, this is probably what Desmond is thinking. It's either going to be a slant. It's either, okay, watch this. He's either going to go out, he's going to go in, or he's going to go up, okay? If he's going to go out, he's going to run out of space. Nine times out of ten, it ain't that. He's either going to go in, or he's going to go up. Back shoulder type, or it's going to be some type of a slant, or some type of a shallow. If he goes back out, it's going to be a disco type of route, right? So you basically have taken 13 to 15 possible routes. And you've narrowed it down to three. I'm not saying this is what I know. I'm saying this is what he's probably thinking, right? So if I, he, he's going to narrow it down to three or so routes, okay? He's not going outside right now. Let's narrow it down a little bit more. It's probably not a back shoulder fade. He's still fighting inside. Let's narrow it down a little bit more. It's either going to be a slant, a shallow, or it's going to be some disco, right? And I don't see you overselling this slant full speed right now. You can tell the receiver's not going full, full speed right now. My hand's on you. I know where you're going. I'm just going to turn this into a disco. I'm just going to hang in there. I'm just going to hang in there. I don't, I, and I may be giving Dez too much credit. But damn it, that's probably what he did right there. He just recognized the situation. He knows where he's at. He knows the down and distance and how much space is in front or behind him. He set the boy up. Let's use that same logic on this play right here, the last play of the film. Let's use that same logic on this play right here. It's third down, so I'm going to give you a little bit more space. Why? Because you got to get in the end zone or, or you're going um, to uh, kick a field goal, right? Same logic. Okay, he's more up the field now, okay? It's either going to be uh, uh, something something back here in this direction or it's going to be some towards the inside. Dez is going to be patient. He's going to watch it develop. He's going to figure this thing out, right? He's probably seen it so much he's just reacting at this point, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to go inside. You can see the receiver kind of kind of give the inside. I'm going to come inside with you. When I see that you're going inside, slant, shallow, cross, anything like that, oh, you're going inside, huh? Cool. I'm going to jump in front of you. Get the damn interception. Damn it. There you go. That's some good football right there. Look at that. Look at that. You're going inside. I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you to get the interception. Damn it. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> tell me what you think about Desmond King. Go, go in the comment section. Tell me what you think about that. I'm hype, man. I'm hype. Uh, tell me what you think about him. Um... Leave a request. Not on no cornerbacks, though. I just dropped 10 of them. Don't be ungrateful. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Vach Lombardi, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. Appreciate it. Uh, if you want to uh, talk to me a little bit more, communicate a little bit, talk some football, come to Lombardi's Draft Talk. It's a Facebook group, Lombardi's Draft Talk. One of my admins will add you to the group, and um, and we'll come in there and you know, talk a little bit of football, man. This is the conclusion of the cornerback marathon. After this, I'm going into some offense. I'm going to touch on some receivers, plenty of them. I'm going to touch on some tight ends, about five. I'm going to get into some running backs, three or four. And I'm going to do a gang offensive lineman, outside and inside, all right? So just look out for those videos coming up next. Um, I'll, I'm also going to drop a few retro videos be between, uh, between now and then. I'm looking for uh, Michael Vick. And I'm going to pair together um, Taylor Lewan and Joe Thomas. Just, you know, give y'all an idea of how the tackle uh, tackle position should be played. You hear me? I'm Vash Lombardi, man. Hold it down for the Doski, Woski, the Peaski, Weeski, man. Peace.